Hello everybody and welcome to clean up this mountain of trash with me. Wow, what a view. I love it. I want to jump there. <laughs> and here I go. <laughs> this is one of the best houses I have ever cleaned. I just love it. There is so much trashes. I want to grab them all. This bathroom, it's... There is something. The sink is really dirty and there's a lot of cobweb. Do you see that window wall? It was full of cobweb. The sink is super nice and the mirror also. Hello, I'm here with my tea. <laughs> like I said, I just love this cobweb. Ooh, nice. Ooh, this light switch. Ah, oh, perfect, perfect. Let's clean. Coming up in this video. Guess what, guys? When I was filming the bathroom, I accidentally dropped my camera and now it's broken. <laughs> oh, but it's okay. I break cameras every now and then. Ooh, pizza. Nice. <laughs> and I have insurance, but of course, because Usually I'm filming these home cleanings with two cameras, so now I have only one, but it's okay. Wow, mold, love it. Mm. What kind of food was that? I don't know. <laughs> There's a lot of cans and bottles, which is nice. Whoa, what are these? Weird. Maybe we should ask Henry. Henry is the resident of this home and Henry is in trouble and he asked for my help. Henry's story is a bit sad and he eats a lot of junk food. He loves pizza. There were so many pizza boxes, I couldn't even count them. It's really common that these people eat poor food, like junk food because they can't cook. Like in this case, wow! <laughs> oh, <laughs> my bad. Henry's kitchen was completely unusable. And if you want to see how it was cleaned, watch last week's video. It was pretty amazing, but yeah, Henry couldn't cook there anything. I mean anything, that's why he mostly eat chips, McDonald's pizza, and so on. Henry sent me an email and told me that he has tried to clean his apartment, but he just couldn't. He started to take the trashes out, but it seems impossible. Like in this case, I have collected these trashes like many hours, maybe six or something. So. Pretty long. Let's see what we have in here. I hope there is a lot of trash. Mm. Well, um, it's not a lot. <laughs> I'm pretty disappointed, but. <laughs> oh, okay, how about this? Mm, better. This is better. Definitely better. <laughs> In the video, of course, it looks like I'm doing this really quickly. But if I try to recycle the bottles and cardboards and take the trashes to the trash can, which is, by the way, really far away, this is really slow and heavy work. But I still love it. It takes all of my energy and I often have too much energy. <laughs> By the way, my duster looks like cotton candy now because it's full of spider web. <laughs> Can you see there's a lot of spiders crawling on the floor? Mm, not so nice, but I'm okay with that. I don't have to sleep here like Henry, so I'm okay. I'm okay with everything. But yeah, this home has been too big obstacle for Henry. 
I met Henry yesterday evening when he gave me the key to this apartment. He was quite tall and slim, very neatly dressed and really friendly. It was super nice to meet him. Henry is about 30 years old, single and he has a full-time job. He seemed very hardworking and conscientious. He told me about his life. His mother is sick and he has been taking care of his mother and sister for a few years now. During that time he has also fallen ill with depression himself. But during that time he has also fallen ill with depression himself. Life has waged on him and home has become a landfill of all sorrows. Henry has been living like this for over two years, and I know it is hard to understand how. However, Henry describes that it is as if he becomes blind to everything, because he didn't want to see the truth. That would have been too painful. What kind of a pile of trash the home has become. Mind shuts it down and tries to just survive. You don't even want to think about the condition of your home. It pretends it doesn't exist. But then Henry had a wake up call and he realized what condition the home was in. He tried to take the trashes out, but was only capable to take out as much as it came in one day. Like I said, the trash bins were far away, so it took a lot of time to take all them out. So at this point Henry was doing better, and he had finally realized how bad the situation was in his home. But still, he had A. No time to clean, B. No strength to clean. And that's why he asked for my help and good that he did. I believe that when his home is clean, it's like new beginning for him. He is doing better, but when the home is clean, he can feel even better. And it's weight off his shoulders. He no longer has to worry about the condition of the home, so he can start thinking about other things. Henry said that he has some friends and of course his mom and his sister, but nobody knows about the situation in here. By the way, this scrub that is chief cream is amazing. Did you see how it removed those stains? Oh, and this scraping, mmm, so lovely. But hey, after this cleaning, Henry can invite his friends and his mother over here. So nice. Okay, we have to use my squeegee and a big sinus brush to clean this carpet. I mean rug. Of course, a vacuumer would be better here, but I don't have one. It doesn't fit in my car. I have a lot of stuff in my car, <laughs> like a lot of, <laughs> so this will do. In my home I always use a squeegee, but of course this rug is really dirty. I, I mean it should be washed, but yeah, Henry can do that after this cleaning. But I always have to accept that I can't clean everything. Something is always uncleaned. And that's okay. It's better to clean a little bit of something or as, as much as you can. Okay, let's finish this floor and then I will show you how to clean a painted wall.
Okay, first this door. Here I'm using a Cine Super Sponge with power paste. Put a lot of power paste there. And by the way, the sponge is wet. I don't use it dry. So yeah, I wet it with warm water. And I'm just wiping the excess power paste away with a damp microfiber cloth. And now the door is clean. Okay, here comes the wall. First, I'm spraying Cine's kitchen cleaner. And after that, again, Cine's super sponge and power paste. A lot of power paste. And look how wide it is. If you kids have drawn something on your wall or you have some kind of stains on your wall, try power paste. I guarantee it will work. It's a miracle product. <laughs> now the bathroom is full of bottles and cans. If I returned these, I would get something like 200 euros, which is pretty much the same in dollars. But usually I don't have time to return these. So I leave them outside. Then I make a Facebook post that, which says that you can come to pick them up for free. They always go immediately because they are a big money for those who need them. Imagine getting like 200 bucks for picking up the bottles and returning them to the store. So it's win-win situation for all of us. Did you know that you can use a scrub daddy for mirrors? It doesn't scratch any surface, so you can safely use it. Ta-da! Looking nice. Doo -doo -doo. Hello, my cleaning friends. <laughs> oh, nice. A toothpaste stain. Love it. I think I'm gonna scrape it. Ooh, nice, super nice. I love dry toothpaste. Mm. Let's wash the rest of it. And then there's the cobweb, if you remember. <laughs> love it. Before and after. Pretty. <laughs> wow. A detailed brush can handle it. Oh, I love it. But there's zero spider in here. They are all in the living room, so that's nice. All right, there's a lovely layer of dust. Ah, oh, yes. And I noticed that there is lime scale. So let's remove that next. There's lime scale and some dirt between the tiles. So I'm using a scrap that is chief cream. Then I'm just brushing it there and then I'm using a steel daddy. The secret is the steel daddy because the steel is so hard so it brushes away the dirt and the lime scale and voila! Looking so much better. Oh, good as new. Okay, here we have red mold, so I'm using chlorine. And the red mold is already gone, almost. A little bit of brushing and then rinsing. Goodbye, red mold. Okay, what a beauty. 
here I'm using Cine's kitchen cleaner because that is mainly like grease and dirt. So, yeah. Sometimes I mix uh, Cine's kitchen cleaner and power paste. But you didn't see that I was putting power paste there, but there was power paste. So, those two work so well together. Okay, time to clean Henry's bedroom so he can sleep here next night so peacefully. These trashes has been here for a long time because they smelled awful. Like, awful. Imagine that you have to sleep next to smelly trash, like, mm, it's not good for your health. Henry didn't have any bed sheets on his bed, so let's put those. I have always new bed sheets and pillows and blankets in my car, so that's really nice. Sometimes I'm so hurried that I can I don't have a time to go to a store, so that's why I try to keep everything in my car. Let's finish this floor and then you get to see the before and after pictures. Ah, oh, can't wait. I know I said say that every time, but guys, I mean, the living room, it is so pretty. It is so beautiful after the cleaning. <laughs> Let's put this rack here, and then I noticed that there were some spider webs again. So let's wipe them, and then I think we are done. Oh, so satisfying. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh my god, there are so many spiders! <laughs> oh, de -de 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 -de. This is before, and this is after. Isn't that pretty? So beautiful. Thank you, thank you for watching, and welcome to clean with me next week. <laughs> See you, bye bye. By the way, Henry was so happy when he came home. <laughs>